Welcome to Real Analysis. I want to devote today's uh, lesson uh, to exercises. Okay, let's do just ex uh, plenty of examples of sets. So our first exercise is rewrite the set A, which consists of elements of X such that uh, X satisfies this equation. 2 times x squared plus 5 times x uh, 2 times x cubed plus 5 times x squared minus 3 times x is equal to 0 and x is um, an integer. So rewrite this, this set by list method. What is list method? Uh, first, uh, let's uh, find the solution of this equation solution 2 times x squared plus 5 times 2 times x cubed plus 5 times x squared minus 3 times x minus uh, is equal to 0 if we factorize this equation we will get time get that x times uh, 2 times x squared plus 5 times x minus 3 is equal to Zero. If we want to um, to find the solution, we should uh, equalize both factors to zero. So x is equal to zero. This is our first root. Uh, let's write the root of this equation. 2 times x squared plus 5 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. If we factorize this equation, um, we will get that. Get uh, these two factors. Let's um, we find the roots. In order to find the uh, solution of the first factor, we should write it equal to 0 and we get that x2 is 1 over 2. But we have a um, property that x is an integer here, yes? But x2 is 1 over 2, this is a fraction. This is not an integer, so x2 is not from z, so this is not our solution. And x plus 3 is equal to 0. Here we get x is equal to minus 3, and this is integer. x1, our first root, is also an integer, so therefore... Our list is a is equal to uh, 0 minus 3. Our second example is about subsets and proper sets. So consider the set A is consists of the elements uh, A, B, C. We should find the subsets of A and the proper sets of A. The subsets of A are firstly um, zero uh, empty set, A itself, A, B, C, and D. Also A, B, C, and a, B, B, C, and A, C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we get eight subsets of A. But what is proper set. If we uh, cancel out this, we will get um, 
the proper set of A. It is empty set A, E, C, A, B, B, C, and A, C. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets. The number of subsets of set with n elements is number of subsets is uh, two to the n. Okay, and um, we have three elements. Two to the three is equal to eight. Yes, we get eight subsets. The number of proper sets of the set is equal to two, time, two to the n minus one. Okay, if we, what here, one is the set itself. If uh, we subtract this set, if we cancel out this set, we will get seven sets, yes. The proper sets is um, the set which are not included, the main set. Our third um, example is um, about set operations. Here we have two sets, the set A and the set B. We should find um, the difference of a and B and also the dif difference of um, B and A. So if we want to uh, subtract B from A, uh, we should choose the elements of A that is not from B. Okay, here B we have D, E, F, G. And if we cancel out D, E, here we do not have FG, we will get that A, B, C, okay? The elements which are uh, included to B should be cancelled out from A and the remaining elements are the difference between A and B. So let's find the difference between B, A, B and A and we should cancel out the elements from A in B. Uh, here we should cancel D, E and if we subtract these two elements we will get F and G. F and G um, is the subtraction of B and A. Our third, um, our fourth example is about the neighborhood of um, element or point X. So we have UX and it's defined as uh, X minus 1, X plus 1. Uh, here is the figure, this is X and this is uh, epsilon is equal to 1. Uh, one neighborhood, epsilon neighborhood of X. We should find U0. It means that we should plug 0 here. Okay, we should plug 0 here and we get that 0 minus 1, 0 plus 1. And it's equal to minus 1 and 1. And our option B is uh, we should plug 1 over 2 into here. We will get that 1 over 2 minus 1, 1 over 2 plus 1. And our result is um, negative 1 over 2 and positive 3 over 2. And our final option is u over 0 um, union. Uh, u of 1 over 2 and uh, let's show this in our line let it be our first interval 
minus one and one. Okay. And our uh, second interval is minus one over two. It is somehow here minus one over two and two over three okay we should find the union the union is all the elements of this interval and now we get minus one the interval from minus one to uh, three over two this is option B. U of 0 intersection U of 1 over 2. The intersection is this part. S, yes? uh, the common elements. And it's equal to 1 over minus 1 over 2 and positive 1. And our final option is for arbitrary x from the interval 0, 1, ux, the union of ux is equal to, let me show you, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, this is minus 1 to 1, and this is from 0 to 2, and the union is minus 1, 2. Um, our next example is about the intersection of set S. Um, let S be defined as uh, the intersection of the interval uh, 0, 1 over k, where k is starts from 1 to infinity. We should find S. Firstly, we should find the solution as k is equal to 1. If we put here 1, we will get 0, 1 over 1, and the solution is 0, 1. Let it be S1. If we plug 2, we will get 0, 1 over 2. And let it be S2. If we plug 3, we will get 0, 1 over 3. Let it be S3. And it continues if we plug infinity, if cup, if k approach to infinity we will get 0 0 so this is s infinity and now s is equal to the intersection the intersection of these uh, intervals so the intersection of 0 1 0 1 over 2 0, 1 over 3 and it keeps going 0, 0 is equal to what? empty set let me show you ok, this is the interval of 0 and 1 ok and here is this is our first S1. Uh, let it be S2. Okay? Let it be S2. Let it be S3 here. Also, S4 should be somehow uh, light in here. 1 over 4 and etc. It, it keeps going uh, and it keeps approaching to 0. So we will get no element at the end. Here is our next 
uh, exercise. Let T be um, the union of AKs where AKs are the interval. Um, neither open nor closed. Look, here is open. Uh, this endpoint is not included but this endpoint is included uh, let's find a1 if we plug one uh, here we will get one minus one and one our result will be zero one okay if we plug two we will get one two if we plug three we will get two three and it keeps going then our union will be zero one one two two three and it keeps going and our final result we will um, get just endpoints okay here our endpoint is zero and it's not included zero and here we will get infinity okay this endpoint is infinity so our seventh ex uh, example is let s be the intersection of this interval minus 1 over k 1 over k this is open interval and we should find s so let, let's find S1. If we plug 1 here, we will get minus 1 and positive 1. If we plug S2, we will get minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2. Also S3, we will get minus 1 over 3 and 1 over 3. It keeps going and so in the final result we will get the intersection of these open intervals okay one over two minus and plus one over two minus one over three and plus one over three it keeps going and in our final result we will get the set containing the element zero why let's let's show you uh, let it be the set from minus one to one this is open set and our second set is something situated here one over two and our uh, second set is somehow situated in here and it keeps uh, approaching to zero okay this is our first this is our second our third and etc um, the intersection of both uh, all these sets are only zero okay it doesn't matter um, how much it approaches to zero how much these sets approach to zero uh, the, the the point zero is included the point zero is included for uh, all of these sets so the intersection of these sets are only the point zero and our next exercise is about one-to-one -one correspondence of two sets for example assume that we have the set a which is um, containing the elements one to three and the set b are these two sets equivalent if yes or if no give the reason why these sets are equivalent because because let me show you one two three and a b c we can make 
uh, one to one correspondence between these sets um, between elements of this set there is one to one correspondence and th this is the reason uh, why these sets are equivalent so the answer is yes they are equivalent because because there is one to one correspondence between them also we can make one to one correspondence between set of points on two parallel sides of a rectangle let it be a rectangle uh, a b a is a parallel side of b and to be and here we can make one to one correspondence between a set of points on two parallel sides it keeps going so um, also we can make one to one correspondence um, between two concentric uh, circles let a and b uh, be sets of points of two concentric cir circles okay uh, then it's clear that a is equivalent to b uh, it uh, here we can make one-to-one -one correspondence of them Okay. So, also, uh, let A be a set of points on hypotenuse of right triangle. And let it be right triangle. Okay. And this is the hypotenuse of right triangle. And let B... Um, B set of points on one leg and let A be set of points on hypotenuse. Here we can make one to one correspondence between the points of A and B. So it keeps going and by drawing vertical lines we can easily see that there is one to one correspondence between a and b so a is equivalent to b the hypotenuse of right triangle is equivalent to the leg and despite the fact that the leg is shorter than the hypotenuse our next exercise is that let n be the set of natural numbers and let m be the set of um, even numbers e, the question is that is n is equal to m and y our um, answer is yes but why let's show why uh, we can make one to one correspondence between n and m let me show you let it be n and let it be m one two three four five six seven and it keeps going we can write the first element of m is two four six eight ten twelve fourteen and it keeps going so um, we can continue this um, sequence to infinity no elements no elements are repeated and uh, it's clear that there is one-to-one -one correspondence between n and m if there is one-to-one -one correspondence then and they are equivalent so this is our tense um, exercise let a be the set of elements from one to one let b be the interval one 
zero one show that um, the function p x is equal to x squared is not one to one correspondence between a and b. So here is the solution. Let it be the set A and let it be the set B. This is A and this is B. The elements are minus 1, 1. The elements of B are 0 and 1. We, uh, when we talked about 1 to 1 correspondence, we said that if every input there is just one output, it is 1 to 1 correspondence. But if uh, for two outputs there is one if for two inputs there is one output this is not one to one correspondence so here uh, if we plug here minus one phi minus one is equal to minus one square and it's equal to one if we plug here one P1 is equal to 1 squared and this is equal to 1. Um, for two variables, for two inputs, and there is just one output. So this is not a one to one correspondence. Okay? Uh -huh. Our 11th exercise is uh, we have two sets, our set. First set A is consists of the elements x such that x is between minus one and one, uh, where x is in integer, and the set of B is consists of elements y, uh, where y is uh, between zero and one, and y is integer. We and let phi be rule between A and B. Okay, now we should show that phi, phi cannot be one-to-one -one correspondence. The solution is that solution A is minus one, zero, one, and B is zero, one. Since number of elements of A and B are different, you know, here there are three elements uh, in set B, there are two elements. Uh, phi cannot be a rule because we say that uh, for each element, for each element of A, uh, we should uh, lie a one element of B. But here the, the element is remaining. So this is there is not no third element. Now phi is not one to one correspondence. Okay. Um, this is our next example. Let A B be in the set of elements 1 to 3, let A2 be 2, 3, let B1 be the set uh, A, B, C, and B2, B, D, E. The question is that, is the union of A1 and A2 is equal to the union of B1 and B2? Let's find the unions firstly. A1 union A2 is equal to 1, 2, 3. And union of B1 and B2 is A, B, C, D, E. So, um, there is three elements here and, and there are one, two, three, four, five elements here. There is no one-to-one, -one, there is not one-to-one -one correspondence between and then uh, the reason is that A1 and A2 are not disjoint sets. So um, these uh, are not equal. Okay, the result of our answer is not because 
one to one correspondence there is not one to one correspondence between them our next example is let n be the set of all natural numbers and a1 if is um, 1 2 3 it keeps going to n a2 is even numbers and uh, a3 is um, the square of all natural numbers are these sets are countable and why the answer is yes uh, let's answer the second question why if we can make one-to-one -one correspondence between the set and the natural number set then it means that this set is countable uh, let's show let it be n and let it be a1 so here n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and it keeps going. So a1 is 1, a2 is 2, a3 is 3, and it also keeps going. So there is 1 to 1 correspondence between uh, n and a1. No elements are repeated, and there is no remaining element. So, um, this set is countable. Let's show A2. Let it be N and let it be A2. Oh, again, the natural number set. It keeps going and a2 is the set, set of even numbers the first element is 2 the second element is 4 the third element is 6 the fourth is 8 and 10 12 it keeps going to infinity and as you see for the first element of natural number uh, we can um, lie is first element of a2 and for the second element of natural number there is uh, four for the third element there is six and it, it keeps going no elements are repeated and no elements are remaining so this a2 is countable and let's show a3 let it be n and let it be a3 here again the set of natural numbers the elements are one two three four five six seven and it keeps going um, the first element is one square the second element oh sorry this is four nine and etc the second element is two squared the third element is three squared the fourth is four squared five squared six squared seven squared and it keeps going there is one to one correspondence between n and a3 so if we um, can find one-to-one -one correspondence it means that our set is countable